What's up guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today I'm trying something a little bit different on my channel and something that I am hoping will become a regular feature. So warning, I think that this intro is gonna be a little bit longer than my usual ones while I just explain myself. Pretty much what I'm gonna be doing today is kind of like a style with me sort of theme and it is totally inspired by Bella, also known as Internet Girl. I'm sure a lot of you already know her because she is massive over on Depop and pretty much she has this thing that's called Styled by iGirl Bundles where followers can purchase a head to toe look styled by her. All they have to do is give their measurements and then also a theme or particular vibe that they want the outfit to embody. And recently she's been filming a behind the scenes of kind of her process of putting those bundles together. And oh my God, guys, I find it so fascinating. I could legit just watch them all freaking day. I thought, why not? film one for myself. Obviously, I'm only gonna be styling outfits for me and it's just using stuff that I already have in my wardrobe. So today, I'm just gonna choose out a few themes of my own. I literally have like a full page of ideas and I'm just gonna choose what I'm feeling today. But in future, I definitely want it to be you guys who make the themes and make the challenge for me. So definitely, once you finish watching this, comment down below what you wanna see next. So first up, I'm gonna try and tackle a Coyote Ugly inspired look. That was one of my favorite movies when I was younger and I still absolutely love it. I feel like it was definitely one of the pioneers for that early 2000s trashy kind of vibe. So some of the main things that come to mind are definitely animal print in particular snake skin print I feel like was really really big for them and also just like your leather sort of fabrics they also had a lot of really cool kind of statement belts also a lot of things were very low waisted and a lot of tummy showing so I've managed to narrow it down to two looks now both pretty similar so it's just going to come down to personal preference in the end both the base have the faux leather black trousers and this one has the leopard print um, cardigan over the top kind of bummed that it's not snake print but I think that this still works and then underneath a really fitted cropped black tank top and then the only thing that I'm not too sure about is the belt I think that this absolutely nails the theme because it is very very early 2000s but that kind of makes it a little bit less wearable for today I do really like this look and then the other again really similar but it's just switching it out for the leopard print cami instead and then again with a cardigan this time just a basic red one I really like playing around with that idea of a cardigan on top because I can't remember what the main character's name is but I feel like she serves a lot of cardigan looks to kind of be like a little bit more modest than some of the other girls so yeah so we're just gonna have to try it on now I think and see which one I prefer <laughs> I am feeling the early 2000s mood now, so I wanna keep that rolling, but I feel like our last one had more of a bad girl sort of vibe, so on the opposite end, I wanna to turn to our Disney girls for a little bit of inspo. Actually, a few months ago, my best friend messaged me, she was re-watching Lizzie McGuire and was like, you should totally do an inspired lookbook for that show. And recently I've been re-watching it as well because you can stream it on Stan here in Australia, and oh my goodness, did they serve some bold fashion choices? There's a lot of color, a lot of print, just a lot of hair. There's so much happening. So I thought that would be a really, really fun one to take inspiration from. And honestly, I'm not too sure if I have too many items that are Lizzie specifically, but I think I could either do a Kate look. She's kind of like the mean girl, or we could go for Miranda, the best friend who kind of has more of a tomboy sort of style. So I think either one of those would be fun and I'm just gonna pull whatever I think could potentially work and then we'll play around with what we have. Okay, I've got two totally different piles. I'm gonna start out with Kate. The one item I'm totally sold on is this little A-line mini skirt. I feel like the silhouette is her to a T and of course having it in pink is a major plus. But as far as the top goes, I don't have anything that's like really wow. I think that I would end up teaming it just with this plain baby pink high neck tank top, which kind of leaves the outfit looking a little bit boring. So I know that I will pile on some really cute early 2000s accessories, like some hair clips, maybe some like 
pom-pom earrings or something and then try and make some sort of outerwear work and then for Miranda the main thing I really want to do is pants particularly capris I feel like was her go-to so we have this camo option but on the other hand like we have that skirt in pink camo so I'm not too sure I think I might go more towards the um, plaid tartan sort of print and then I can just roll them up into a capri sort of length and then for the top I feel like there was a lot of layering going on in the early 2000s you have like your long sleeve mesh and then a t-shirt over the top especially if you were in that kind of like emo phase which I feel like Miranda dabbled in just a little bit so I have like a few variations but one I've got here is this mesh camo long sleeve and then with this red Emily the Strange t-shirt over the top but I don't know I feel like again I don't want to make it too unwearable so another option could be this little jacket here which this is actually one of my most worn items in my wardrobe I absolutely love the fluffy faux fur trim on it and I feel like you know Miranda still cared about style she still had like a little bit of sass and girliness in her outfits so this would definitely tie that into the tomboy sort of look So I'm not actually 100% sure on the overall theme for this next one, but I know I definitely want to style a dress because we haven't done that yet in today's video. And I feel like for me, usually if I'm throwing on a dress, it's literally just throwing it on and leaving without doing too much styling. It's definitely like one of my lazy options. So I think it would be fun to play around with how we can like amp a dress up to the next level. And I don't really have too many here. I've got this one and this one, which both kind of have a 90s sort of vibe to it. So I guess that answers that question of what the theme will be, but pretty sure I've styled that one for you guys before in like a Sabrina the Teenage Witch sort of look. So it looks like we're gonna be going for this one. And this floral print is just an absolute 90s essential in my opinion. And I feel like I could style this one of two ways. So we may as well play around with both. The first one would be to team it with a pair of Doc Martens. This is a look that I have done, I think even on Instagram with this dress before. And I know that it's kind of cliche to do like the floral dress with a pair of Doc Martens when you're going for like that 90s. Like, I don't know, it's not like full on grunge, but definitely when like more of the mainstream kind of tried to tag along onto that trend. And then another option that I haven't actually tried with this dress yet, but I have been meaning to play around with is actually inspired by Reese Witherspoon. I believe it's in the movie Fear. I think that this floral dress would be perfect teamed with like a frilly pair of white socks and a pair of Mary Janes. I think in that movie she also has like a corduroy jacket or something so I don't know if we'll find something similar to that. Maybe like a khaki anorak or something could be a cool option as well. feeling this is going to be legit the longest video I have ever filmed on my channel because I cannot shut up but I really want to try and fit in just one more look and I want to go for something a little bit more sporty but maybe like sporty spice sort of vibe so it's still got like an element of like girly 90s cool to it um we've got a few options the first piece that comes to mind is obviously going to be these Fila snap track pants these totally remind me of i think the nike ones um that sporty spice wears with the orange crop top so these are the perfect option but i'm gonna flick through and see what else i can find as well so i mostly pulled like wide leg sort of trousers i have this red pair and then all the others were more of like track pants sort of style um so i definitely feel like that's the best to really scream sporty spice but my only dilemma is that i really really want to try and style this 
filler jacket coat sort of situation, but it is kind of oversized and I just feel like it's gonna be too much fabric with a pair of pants. I think this needs something a little bit more form fitted to really show it off. So I'm kind of struggling. I don't know exactly what I wanna do. I keep coming back to these original track pants that I pulled out, but I don't know. I mean, I suppose we could go for like a head to toe filler look with the track pants the jacket and then I can also pull out the disruptors as well. Um, actually that could kind of work. That almost more so reminds me of like Aaliyah when she does the full on Tommy Hilfiger look. I could go for that sort of vibe, like um, just like a boob tube underneath. That could work. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it there. Hopefully this didn't drag on too long and hopefully you guys actually found it entertaining. If you did, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up for me. And of course, hit me up in the comments with any theme recommendations that you wanna see in the next one. I mostly suck to TV movie, but I am honestly open to any suggestions. So hit me with your best shot, I suppose. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.